Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Lester Berry, and welcome to another segment of It Could Be Just Me. And it often is. Anyway, that's beside the point. Today I want to talk about something that's been in the news, and that is, as many of you have heard, Steve Harvey's ex-wife, funny man Steve Harvey. His wife is in the news. She's all over YouTube, and she's talking about everything that happened in their marriage. And, uh, you know, I won't even repeat some of the things that she said, but... Um, casting a very unfavorable light on Steve Harvey, especially in a time when he's doing so well with his book and being the new host of Family Feud. And uh, things are just, the sky just seems to be the limit for Steve Harvey right now. And, and now at this time, his wife, his ex-wife is talking about their marriage and how it fell down. Here's, here's what I want to say about that, and it could be just me. I'm of the belief that when two people are breaking up, everybody else should just stay out of it. I don't care what you heard. I don't care what one spouse says about the other. Everybody else should stay out of it. It's nobody else's business. I don't care if Steve Harvey cheated on his wife. I don't care if he, he gave her enough notice that they were going to break up. I don't care about the notice. Um, this is not our business. This is the business of Steve Harvey and his family and his personal uh, circle. Of, of friends. I don't think that it's right that she be in the public uh, blasting him like that. I think that is wrong. He very well may have done everything that she said he did, but even if um, he did, I think that it's wrong for her to air it like that. And I think that, um, but of course, certainly she has a right to do it. You know, um, some people say, oh, she's bitter, she's angry. Well, you know, I don't know. I'm not going to get into uh, saying those things about her. She is where she is in her uh, spiritual walk and her ability to handle the things that happen in her life. And she's going to act accordingly. But I, I don't think anybody should go around uh, thinking any less of Steve Harvey because of what his ex-wife has said about him. Um, I would say if he, he beat her, you know, I would think that would make him, you know, kind of a questionable role model. I guess I would want to know that. And if he were arrested for beating her and he had... Uh, criminal record or something like that. But relationships run their course and people break up and that's the way love goes. And uh, you know, no offense against Steve, but I mean, he's a nice guy whenever I met him, but I'm not a huge fan of Steve Harvey. So it's not like I'm taking up for him. It's not like he's going to hire me to do a gig for him or anything like that. I just have always believed that when two people are breaking up and they're going through their whole breakup process, and a lot of times the breakup lasts a lot longer than the actual time when they parted company. You know, sometimes that whole process takes another year or two years or three years or five years or whatever. I just believe that we let Steve be Steve, let his ex-wife be who she is, and and let the, the, let the dust settle. But by no means should anybody be cast in judgment on Steve Harvey because of what his ex-wife said about him. And um, his ex-wife, to her, if she's watching, you know, I love you. I think you're a great person. And I'm sure your pain is very real to you. But it's really not anybody else's business. And that Steve wants to write a book about relationships, you know, that's his business. It's not, it's not her job to, or your job, if she's watching, to, to try to tear him down and lose customers for him or tear down his credibility or anything like that. What happens in the personal realm should stay in the personal realm and, and let the man do his business. That's what I believe, you know, um, she's a very wealthy, well-off woman, I'm assuming she's taken care of, uh, she'll find another man, you know, uh, if he don't, Steve didn't love you the way you wanted or needed to be loved, then uh, consider yourself blessed, I'm sure there's somebody else who will. So, uh, that being said, because um, I hear some people saying they're shaking their head, or Steve Harvey, I can't believe he did that, or whatever, I don't know, it could be just me. <laughs>